What's going on, everyone? Dare here in Happy Friday. I'm actually not completely sold on Happy Friday. The other one I've been throwing around is TGIT, which is, you know, thank God it's Friday. But either way, I digress. Today, we're checking out Soulstone Survivors. So let's not waste any time and see what this game is all about. Okay, let's not spend a whole lot of time in the menus and get straight to the gameplay, but there's a couple things I want to touch on. There is quite a bit of customization in this game. From the characters that you play to the ability to upgrade their weapons there's a rune system or ingrams pretty much is what it's been in every rpg ever there is a skill tree and a whole lot of achievements so let's get into the gameplay and see how all of this actually makes sense okay so what's this basic gameplay loop of this game look like essentially it's very similar to things like vampire survivors or even 20 minutes till dawn I heard the coin phrase uh, reverse bullet hell the other day, and I was like, that's actually, that's pretty fitting. So you come in, endless waves of enemies come at you, and you have to continuously kill them and get stronger as you go. I mean, it is, it's a lot of fun. I don't know why, but these games just kind of resonate with me. So every level, you're gonna get three options. Every three levels, you're gonna get an active skill, and every other level, you're gonna passive skill. So we just hit level two, so we're getting a passive skill. So as you can see, we get Powerful Strikes, which is increases our damage. We get Venomous, which applies poison on our attacks, or we get an area effect modifier to our current only active skill. So I'm actually gonna go with that because we're gonna increase the area of my Whirlwind. So on the next level, at level three, I'll get presented with an active skill. So I'll have three choices and I'll be able to select which active skill I wanna add. One thing to keep in mind is even though it says active skill, you don't actually have to click any buttons. I don't know why I prefer that. It just works a little bit better. So here's our choices. We have Bloodlust, which empowers all allies, increases um, it, it decreases speed by 20%, and cast frequency by 40%. So essentially it's haste. Then we have two abilities both of which are bomb skill types, which I'm not gonna go, so I'm not really interested in them. So I'm actually gonna go with Bloodlust. The more annoying thing is, is there's quite a bit of RNG associated with the cards that you get at each level. So if you're specifically going for a certain type of build, for instance, I kinda wanna bleed build this run, then I'm gonna have to keep hoping I get those bleed uh, abilities as they pop up. If I don't, then I'm just kinda, SOL until they do. I waste points, unfortunately. The good thing is, is that you can replace active abilities at any point as they do come up. So once you fill up your bar, you can still get rid of the active abilities that you don't want. So that honestly is a nice, a nice little bonus. So not only do you get three options, they also have rarity because why not? Why wouldn't we throw RNG on top of our RNG? That makes things fun, right? right? <laughs> so for instance, we got a legendary edition of this one. So there's a 60% to multicast whirlwind. Honestly, duh, we're going to pick that up. And it just did it. That means I have a 60% chance that when whirlwind is casted, it's going to cast more than once. And that shit stacks. It just keeps stacking. And that is honestly a lot of the allure of this game is the just stupid combos that you can create with with the active skills and the passives. So we have more options here. I think I'm actually gonna go with suction bomb. Um, I don't really need thunder strike and shadow spikes as doom, which I don't really, I'm not really interested in. I'm still leaning towards going a bleed build, even though we haven't actually had any bleed stuff come up. Could also go slam, because I think slam is a lot of fun. So I have behemoth, which increases my health. I have relentless, which makes me cast more often not faster more often and then i have an increased potency to bloodlust which i'm not going to do and you might why are you not going to do that because i intend to get rid of bloodlust eventually so we're going to go with health i think if you're looking at this game and you're like i don't know if i really would like this i think the best way that i can possibly describe this game is it's a Diablo three season compressed down into 15 minutes. And now you're sitting there like, that sounds stupid. There's no way that's, that's really how it is. And I can assure you, ooh, yeah, shockwave. Um, it truly is, because you start out, you get one ability. 
And as you progress, you start getting more skills and then those skills start building off of each other. And by the end of it, the whole screen is just completely filled with rocks being thrown in different, <laughs> different parts of the map. Things are dying instantly. And as, as weird as it sounds, it just truly is. The only difference is in Diablo 3, all that kind of starts coming together once you get your entire set, whatever set that may be. And in this one, it's really just kind of building up those modifiers that you just kind of build up as you level. And I, I still feel like that's a really good way to describe this game. Uh, let's go with powerful strikes, increase my damage. And there's just something satisfying about it. It's just, it's a lot of fun going starting out as you know just a guy that whirlwinds and then by the end of it i'm literally moving mountains as i'm just slamming into the ground <laughs> it it is just it is good classic family fun so let's talk about the enemy types this is a perfect time because we got our first boss um area modifier cast frequency of piercing shout and then crit damage let's actually go with that so there's your common types of enemies, which you're gonna see here. Those are your goblins, your orcs, your spiders, whatever. Then we have elites. Elites are anything from giant snakes to there's ma these mages over here, which are really infuriating. I actually don't even think these are the elites yet, but they have special abilities. So they're either casting poison at you or they're bombarding you with fire abilities, whatever. They, they just have special abilities. The most annoying one, in my opinion, is the spiders and because they cast a slow and it will slow you just as you're walking into a boss uh range of fire which is really really frustrating um a lot so here's here, yeah here's here's an elite so they're bigger they're glowy and they cast special abilities at you they're not really that bad they just they're just more of a nuisance so that thing that i just killed is called a lord of the void Lords of the Void is literally the purpose of the entire run is you will always either fight five or ten so far. I don't know if you do any more than ten, but as of right now, it's either five of them or ten of them in a run. Um, let's go with agility, actually. Uh, and they each drop gems. You'll then use those gems to power yourself up. You use gems, either these small blue ones or the large big ones that the Lords of the Void drop. And they just get increasingly more difficult, shocking, as the run goes on. And then during the runs that have 10, you'll actually fight two at a time. So the whole point is to just keep keep making yourself stronger so that you can eventually kill all five Lords of the Void. And not only that, but there's five different maps and each of the five maps has things associated with them called curses once you defeat all the curses on one tier you can actually bump up another tier so it's five maps with i think maybe up to six or seven tiers each one with curses associated with them and you just kind of got to keep building up until you can get them all i'm not gonna lie it's 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 a lot of bit grindy i'm not even gonna say a little bit grindy it is a lot of bit grindy just because there are things that you have to unlock such as killing 400,000 enemies it sounds silly i know but that is that is an actual thing one of the runes requ requires you to kill 400,000 enemies which on a normal basic run you kill about 2,500 so it is very very grindy but i don't think this is the type of game that's meant to be just sat down and grind it out I don't think it is in my opinion i love it it fits perfectly in with what kind of i want out of it and that's just to hop in and play you know 15 to 20 minutes in the middle of something else so if i have 15 and 20 minutes to spare i can hop in do a run be done and then go about my way there's not a lot of games that i have in my library right now that i'm comfortable doing that with i think a lot of them 15 to 20 minutes just is how long it takes to get started. Come on, Frankie. What are you doing, fat boy? So it's 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 a lot of fun in that aspect. Hell, even, ooh, got a legendary and an epic. We're gonna go with multicast on Flurry. Even Vampire Survivors was like a 30 to 40 minute run game. So I just really appreciate how fast you're in and out in this game because it just, it just really kind of fits that niche for me right now 
of I only have a little bit of time to jump in and do something. What am I going to do? So really, really like that aspect of the game. It is quick. There are longer runs. So for instance, at the end of this, I'm going to be offered an infinite mode and then I'm going to be offered, I think, I want to say it's a, almost like a boss rush, but you can choose either one to extend the run that you're currently doing. So say you come in and you have just an absolute busted build going, you can choose to be like, okay, we're going to go the, end, the endless run and I'm going to see how far I can actually take this thing, which I really like. I like that they give you that option. You don't have to decide to do that up front. It's at the end when you can make that decision of like, yeah, this is busted. This, this is one that's going to take me all the way. <laughs> and I can just kind of appreciate that rather than just having to be like, oh, I'm just going to do an endless run now. And then it doesn't really work out. Um, we're going to go with multicast again. So as you can see, even at level, I'm only level 35. On some runs, I can get up to about a level 100. The rocks that I'm throwing, do I want this? Let's do demolish. Let's really just get absurd. So the rocks that I'm throwing are already taking up quite a bit of the screen. And it it does, it gets really absurd. I think that is one thing is it can kind of get to the point where you can't see a damn thing and you just die because you're, you're too, you're too flashy. <laughs> Is, for lack of a better term is you literally can't even see the red circles on the ground of when you're standing in damage because the things that you're doing is just hiding it so you kind of have to keep that in mind and i mean that's that's just part of the game i mean it, it's kind of funny that one of its faults is that it's too flashy and absurd which i love it, it's one of the bonuses for me but you do have to keep it in mind there are a few different skill types that are pretty bad about it the slam stuff that i'm doing right now is one uh going uh void or doom abilities is also another because you'll throw out these void portals that are big giant purple circles and then you throw out void tornadoes and they also fill up the entire screen and at some point you're just running around in a sea of purple hoping you don't run through poison on the ground i think another thing that i really like about the game is you can run into the enemies and not get damaged they have to hit you so i really just like that i don't know attention to detail of like you have to get hit mm, do i want that i don't want shockwave totem those are those are kind of iffy um god this one's so good sin of blood is is so good if you're going to bleed build i'm actually going to do it which i had so this is this is where things get tricky because i want to get rid of piercing shout but i've already spent points buffing up piercing shout so it's kind of like eh eh the struggle is real but we're gonna do it anyway because i feel like santa blood is really really good for what for the build that i'm going right now which is a uh, bleed hemorrhage build so another part of the whole i guess gameplay loop is all of the classes so there are 14 classes currently in early access um, each of them you can level up to level 60 and as you level them up they also get new unique abilities as you go i believe the first one he gets at level 10 the next one is oh god it's i think 30 and the last one is 60 which also once again very freaking grindy i think out of everything in this game i kind of wish they'd dial that back just a little bit just a little bit that's all i'm asking is just t take the grind and just let, let's let's bring it in because <laughs> i mean i've probably got 15 to 20 hours in this game and this my, my barbarian is level 35 nothing else is over 15. so after that long amount of time i don't have a single character that's 60. it's a it's a grind so i'm a little nervous if i'm gonna actually be able to get all the characters to 60 without losing my mind answer is probably no So we got uh, another boss here. Nope. Nope. And killed her. So this is one of those Lords of the Void gems that I'm talking about. You collect those and you use them for your skill tree, for your runes, um, pretty much in, if you're unlocking uni uh, weapons. You use them just about everything. I'm to the point now where the other currency, which is right here, these blue gems, is 
pretty much pointless, and I only need the gems from the Lords of the Void. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. So I'm coming up. I uh, just hit the nine minute mark. We have two bosses left. The next one's going to spawn at 2,000 monsters, which we're uh, quickly approaching. And generally speaking, it's about a 10 to 12 minute run for me on these easier difficulties. The longer, the harder difficulties, they, they do run a little bit longer. But for the most part, I can get a run done in about 10 minutes. There are achievements to finish runs in seven minutes, and I haven't gotten anywhere close to that yet, which is a little bit daunting. I'm not quite sure what the busted builds are. I'm kind of avoiding that. I kind of want to figure out on my own what I got to do to get to that seven minute mark. Frank, are you enjoying this game? Yeah. Whew. But yeah, so it's, it, it is a lot of fun. I've been streaming it a lot on Twitch. Um, And it's just, it's been a perfect game for me to hop in, chill, hang out, uh, BS with people in chat, and just kind of, just have a nice, relaxing, good time. It doesn't really, uh, I mean, ironically, doesn't really take a whole lot of attention, which I think I enjoy about it the most. Unlike a couple of the other uh, reverse bullet hell games, I don't actually have to click or really be paying attention to where I'm aiming. There are abilities that you do have to aim, but for the most part, it doesn't really matter, especially with the build that I got going on right now. I mean, I have Flurry that's going out in front of me, and then I'm doing Subdue. But for the most part, I really only have to do that for bosses. Everything else is going to die to my AoE. Five minutes later. Okay. We're nearing here on our last final boss. And let, let me know down in the comments. Have you played Soulstone Survivors? Is this something you're interested in? not really your cup of tea i i like i said i'm in, i'm thoroughly enjoying this it's one of those games that just kind of got my attention it actually got recommended to me um by someone who very much knew what he was doing uh <laughs> um and he's probably watching this and i'm watching you um but yeah it, it is it's just i don't know why it just it just kind of clicks it all just kind of comes together it's a lot of fun it's still an early access and it's only ten dollars which I know a lot of people are balking at the $10 price tag, mainly because, I mean, Vampire Survivors in Early Access was only $3. Some of the other ones very comparable are only $3. But, I mean, for what this game is, I feel like it's got a little bit more graphical integrity than Vampire Survivors had. Um, I think it also has a little bit more playability, a lot more customization, a little bit more RNG elements to it. So I think it kind of justifies that increased price tag. Plus, I mean, I've already put 15 to 20 hours in for $10. I'm probably going to put another 15 to 20 hours in that I'll do that all day long. Like if I can get 30 to 40 hours out of $10, I will do that all day long. I've played 70 hour games and spent a lot less time. <laughs> so like I said, you get options at the end. I don't know. They, they have certain requirements to trigger. I want to say maybe I have to be under 12 minutes to trigger this one. This is the infinite option, and this is just to end the run. So let's call it it. Let's see, you know, this is the ending screen. It gives you stats, um, kind of gives you what your character layout was, what I all collected. Basic RPG fun. But that is Soulstone Survivor. Sorry, I feel like I just rambled this entire time. Mainly, I said it was just a fun game to chill and chat with, and I just kind of feel like chaotically trying to, trying to pay attention and kind of talk through mechanics at the same time. That was interesting. This was a very interesting video for me, and I don't know why it just felt a little more difficult to be able to talk through the gameplay, but whatever. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit that thumbs up button if you did. Hit that subscribe button if you want to see more of my content. Like I said, let me know down in the comments, what's your thoughts on Soulstone Survivors? Is it for you? Is it not? Are you going to get it? Do you have it? And either way, I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, I hope everyone has a fantastic day. I'll see you on the next one. Check you later.